Hello folks, this is Audio Tom 1003 and this time I'm doing the last two videos of my Shepperton's Micro Fun Fair. I'm in a different room today because uh, I have guests staying upstairs and it's quite late at night so I'm having to do it down in the living room on the uh, on the couch. So this is the last ride and this one is basically uh, designed on a kind of a um, dodgem type ride and it takes up the last four wagons which includes the lighting and the fencing behind at the base and the cars um, so what I'll do is later on is I shall pack the ride down put it on the wagons and then show you those packed up and then in the final shorter video I shall show you all of the wagons packed up as they would be if they were on the road this particular ride is designed on the basics of a, uh, a dodgems but it can also be reconfigured in a in a long way so it would be half half the width sort of just two of these I say quarter sorry a quarter of the width but it would be four times longer and it would form a racing type uh, situation which I think I mentioned in my original video before I had all this um, sort of redesigned and reconfigured so without further ado i'm going to pause the video pack this down put it into the wagons and then i will uh, show you what it looks like oh before i do so i'll just briefly mention the wagons as they are that is a standard british 80s style 90s style sort of uh, pan technic this is the same thing where it's been modified to have half of a uh, flat bed at the back these are open-sided Pantechnics. They're both pretty much identical. They just have different purposes. And each of these wagons that you see, they can be found on the internet for real. So everything you see is based on the real thing. And these are basically just benches for customers to sit on while they're waiting for the rides to finish. And that's the universal ticket office for all of the uh, rides. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video, pack them down, and then show you the lineup. So I've managed to uh, pack up the wagons, and here they all are. So this one, that's the fences with the cars in the uh, back. This one here is for the uh, all of the light bars with the sign on the back. Um, as mentioned in a previous video. This one is the power wagon with the uh, uh, ticket office, which was originally designed for this ride. This one is a standard pan technique, which has all the uh, yellow tiles. That is the, uh, the floor of the ride. And this one, this contains all the foundation plates and the benches. So, uh, so basically, this is all of the rug all of the wagons that I've used for the original ride and if I line them up um, that's pretty much what they look like so what I'll now do is uh, rather than make a separate video is I shall get all of the wagons lay them out and let you uh, see them all in one go so uh, once again I'll pause the video so the whole fleet lined up or rather uh, Put together as one group so there they all are and as explained in one of my earlier videos all of the um, deliveries they're all exactly the same they have a standard uh, format but uh, the designs are subtly different um, the Shepperton's for example it's there in every single wagon they're all roughly this well they're all the same size apart from this one and if I stand them up as I as I go you'll be able to see what they look like hopefully the sofa uh, will hold them and they won't fall down so if I line these all up and every one of them with the exception of the uh, sideshow roof is red and if I take a look at the front you can see they all have a standard frontage 
everything's the same. Okay. And as I go around to the back, you can see what they would look like if they were on the road as it were. So this is my Shepperton's Micro Fun Fair, all packed up and ready to go. So um, this is the last in the videos. I don't think I'll make any more. So uh, anyway, for the last time in this series, thank you for watching. Bye.